All right, some of my stuff arrived today from McMaster Car. I'm pretty excited, so I'm gonna take a look at all this stuff. It's gonna be my first unboxing ever. Figured I'll check it out. It should be extruded aluminum parts for my uh, frames, internal and external. And the box should probably hold all the bolts and nuts and stuff that'll uh, join it all together, including joining plates. Ooh, that's my little girl cat, Slinky. She's a cute little one. I have a little guy cat named Fuzzy Logic. Uh, Here's my setup that this new computer will be replacing. I got a nice chair, crappy desk, which is why I'm getting the new one from uh, Martin Ziegler. And then here is my old case. You might see why I uh, don't like running this thing when I'm uh, sitting next to it. I don't know if you can hear that, but it kind of sounds like a hovercraft right there. So, All right, so this is pretty much everything that arrived today. I popped the caps off a little ahead of time because they're uh, pretty big. Uh, I had surgery on my leg too, so I can't really move around too much, uh, too well, and that's kind of bad because this thing's kind of heavy. Got a lot of crap in it. I'm going to start with the light one. So, uh, all of this stuff is pretty heavy. So this is one of the extruded aluminum parts from 8020. If you look at the end, they, they pack it with some plastic to protect the packaging, but if you look at the end, it's a solid face that's been extruded out to complete the beam shape. So that's pretty cool. This is a two inch by one inch beam for part of my box. Now this guy is pretty damn heavy. I'm gonna have to find a better way to deal with his stuff. I can pull some out separately. So we got another one. Of these two by one extruded aluminum. Oh man. Eight feet. Oh. So, as you can see, these things are pretty damn long when you order them eight feet long. Let me see if there's anything different in there. Oh no, they're all the same. So, pretty much, you just got three more of these things in there. And those will form the edging of my case. Make sure I'm reinforced and ready to go. Alright. Let's see what's in this guy. Alright, the Maxxer car likes to pack everything in its own separate little bags. It makes it real nice for people when they're trying to double check that you got the right stuff. I'm not going to do that right now because it's way too much stuff, but we can take a look at some of the cool stuff. These are the joining plates. They're in kind of a triangle shape. They fit across the ends of these bars and join on to the bars right next to it to make sure you have a reinforced system. They're pretty nice. I'm pulling out and show it to you right up close. Simple aluminum, not too big. Got some, got a lot of these little packs. They're just a couple little bolts with the slides that fit inside the grooves here, and then they mount right to those slides. Works out pretty well. Got some of these things. And then, got the angled support struts pre-cut and pre-drilled and made for the bottom of the case. These things are going to reinforce the diagonals on each corner to make sure it fits really well. It's already got the drop-in bolt and slide right on the very end to mate right up against one of these. Got a couple more of those. Got tons more of those screws and bolts I told you about. Ah, you got some nice uh, little brackets here. These are the L-shaped brackets that are going to reinforce, among other things, the motherboard tray, the bottom, the internal frame legs that hold up the motherboard tray. They're going to go right inside the L-shape so that it protects it and stops from wiggling around too much. We got some flat braces that go directly across the ends. I have two of these cables. That should work pretty well. And that's it. We're all done. Can't wait till I get the rest of my stuff together. I can piece it all together. It's going to be awesome. Well, it turns out that those two by one bars are completely the wrong bars. Anyone who looked at my drawing, my cellar work drawing, would notice that I had one by one bars in place. It turns out that I just ordered the wrong parts. I was playing it cool during the video when I was showing you the unboxing, 
but I was freaking out on the inside because I knew they were the wrong thing as soon as I opened the box. <laughs> but this is a work log so you guys get to see everything from all the failures to the finished product. So have fun, enjoy the ride.